welcome students today we have taken the topic subtraction in the last session of this topic we have covered how to do subtraction without carry now we take the sub topic today subtraction of two digit with carry and subtraction of three digit with carry two method of subtraction we already learn about these method regrouping method and vertical subtraction now subtraction of two digit number with carry before starting this topic you have to remember one thing 10 ones equal to 1 tens now let's take an example first we take the regrouping method for example 95 minus 38 so both are the two digit number in two digit number we use the places tens and ones now write this number in expanded form and arrange it in column now 9 is in tens place so we have to write 9 tens 5 is in ones place so 5 ones 3 is in tens place we have to write 3 tens 8 in ones place so let's write 8 ones now we subtract the number from ones place in ones place there is 5 minus 8 now 5 is smaller than 8 so we cannot subtract 8 from 5 so 5 take borrow from 9 now 9 give their one tens to 5 now you already know one ten equal to 10 ones now in 5 we have to add 10 and it becomes 15 so in ones place there is 15 ones and 8 ones now 9 give their one tens to 5 now in tens place 9 become 8 and 3 remain same same now we can subtract this number 15 minus 8 equal to 7 ones and 8 minus 3 equal to 5 tens so this is the answer 5 tens and 7 ones let's take an another example we take the number 73 minus 35 now both are in two digit number so we use the places tens and ones write down in expanded form and arrange it in column Seven in tens place, three in ones place. So we have to write three ones. Three is in tens place, so three tens, and five is in ones place. So five ones. Now we subtract the number from ones place. In ones place there is three minus five. Now again three is smaller. Then five, so we cannot subtract five from three. So three take borrow from seven. Now seven give their one tens to three, and one tens equal to ten ones. Now three ones become three plus ten equal to thirty. Now in ones place there is thirteen minus. Now seven give their one tens to three, so seven becomes six tens, and three remains same. Now we can subtract the numbers. Thirteen minus five equal to eight, so eight ones, and six minus three equal to three tens. Now, how to do the subtraction with vertical subtraction method? For example, seventy-three minus thirty-six. Both are two-digit number. In two-digit number, we use the places tens and ones. Firstly, we have to write the places tens, ones. Now arrange these number in column and in their places. Seven in tens place, three in ones place, three. in tens place and 6 in ones place after arranging it we have to subtract the number from 
ones place. In ones place, there is three minus six. So six cannot be subtracted from three because three is smaller than six. So three take borrow from seven tens. Now you already know one tens equal to ten ones. So in ones place, we add three plus ten equal to thirteen. So in ones place, we have to put thirteen. Six remains same. Now in tens place, seven give their one tens to three. So it becomes six. Three remains same. Now we can subtract the number. Thirteen minus six in ones place equal to seven, and six minus three equal to three. So the answer is thirty-seven. Another example. Here we take the number ninety-four minus fifty-seven. Both are two-digit number. So we use the places tens and ones. Now. Write down the places tens, ones, and arrange these number in column. And now nine in tens place, four in ones place, five, sorry five in tens place, and seven in ones place. After arranging it, we have to subtract the number from ones place. In ones place, there is four minus seven. Now, four is smaller than seven, so we cannot subtract seven from four. Now, four take borrow from nine tens. Now, nine give their one tens to four, and one tens you already know equal to ten ones. Now, in ones place, four plus ten equal to fourteen. Now, now in place of four, we have to write four, fourteen. And six remains same. In tens place, seven give the one ten to three. So, in tens place, there is six. Three remains same. Now. We can subtract the number fourteen minus six equal to eight, and six minus three equal to three. So the answer is thirty-eight. Now subtraction of three-digit number with carry. Before starting this, you have to remember one thing: ten ones. Equal to one tens and ten turns equal to one hundred. In this picture, the there is ten ones equal to one ten and ten turns equal to one hundred. Let's start with regrouping method. For example. Nine fifty four minus three hundred and thirty five. Both are three digit number. In three digit number, we use the places hundred, tens, and ones. Now nine in hundred place, so we have to write nine hundred. Five in tens place, so we have to write five tens. Four in ones place, so four ones. Firstly, we have to write it in expanded form. Another number, and arrange it in column. Three hundred. So three hundred. Three in tens place. Let's write three tens. Five in ones place. So we have to write five ones. Now for subtraction, firstly we start from ones place. So we have to write four minus five. Now four is smaller than five, so we cannot subtract five from four. So four take borrow from five. Now five give the one tens to four, 
and you already know 1 10 equal to 10 ones so 4 become 4 plus 10 equal to 14 now in ones place there is 14 and 5 remain same in tens place 5 give their 1 tens to 4 now 5 become 4 3 remain same and 9 in 100 place and 3 in 100 place remain same now we can subtract the number 14 minus 5 equal to 9 9 ones o for ones 4 minus 3 equal to 1 so 1 tens t for tens 9 minus 3 equal to 6 so 6 in 100 place for 100 we have to write h so this is the answer 600 1 tens 9 ones let's take an another example here we take the number 735 minus 327 both are three digit number so we have to write the places 100 tens and ones firstly we arrange these number in expanded form 700 3 tens and 5 ones 3 another number 3 in 10, 100 place 300 2 in tens place 2 tens 7 in ones place 7 ones after arranging it in column we have to subtract the number from ones place so 5 minus 7 so we cannot subtract 7 from 5 because 5 is smaller than 7 so 5 take borrow from 3 tens and 3 give their 1 tens to 5. Now 5 become 5 plus 10 equal to 15. Now in 1's place we have to write 15 and 7 remain same in 1's place. Now 3 give their 1 tens to 5. Now 3 becomes 2 tens. We have to subtract 1 from 3 now 2 remain same in tens place 7 in 100 place and 3 in 100 place remain same now we can subtract this number 15 minus 7 equal to 8 8 ones and 2 minus 2 equal to 0 0 tens and 7 minus 3 equal to 4 so 400 now the answer is 400 0 tens and 8 ones now another method of subtraction vertical subtraction for example we take the number 594 minus 257 both are three digit number so in three digit number we use the places 100 tens and ones Firstly, we have write the places 100, tens and ones. Now, arrange these number according to their places. 5 in 100 place, 9 in tens place, 4 in ones place. Another number 2 in 100 place, 5 in tens place and 7 in ones place. Now, we have to subtract these numbers firstly we start from ones place in ones place there is 4 minus 7 so 4 is smaller than 7 so we cannot subtract 7 from 4 now 9 4 take borrow from 9 tens now 9 give their 1 10 to 4 and 1 tens equal to 10 ones 
and 4 become 4 plus 10 equal to 14. Now in 1's place there is 14 and 7. In tens place 9 give there 1 tens to 4 and 9 become 8, 5 remain same. In 100 planes there is no change so they remain same. Now we have to subtract 14 minus 7 equal to 7, 8 minus 5 equal to 3, 5 minus 2 equal to so the answer is 337. Another method of vertical subtraction. Let's take an another example. 627 minus 345. Both are three digit number. In three digit number we use the places 100, tens and ones. Now firstly we have to write the places 100, tens and ones. Now arrange these number 6 according to their places, 6 in 100 place, 2 in 10's place, 7 in 1's place. Now another number 3 in 100 place, 4 in 10's place, 5 in 1's place. Now we have to subtract this number from, firstly we start from 1's place. In 1's place there is 7 and 5 7 minus 5 equal to 2 so it's 2 now in tens place 2 minus 4 now here 2 is smaller than 4 so we cannot subtract 4 from 2 so now 2 take borrow from 100 place now in 100 place there is 6 and 6 give their 100 to 2 and in 100 there is 10 tens. Now 6 give their 100 to 2 and 2 tens become 2 plus 10 equal to 12 tens. Now in tens place there is 12 and 4 remains same. Now 6 give their 100 to 2. Now 6 become 5 and 3 remains same. Now we can subtract 12 minus 4 equal to 8 and 5 minus 3 equal to so the answer is 282. Now, thank you for today.